So today I want to do something I've been waiting to do for a while. I'm going to redo the trunk lid liner and put a American flag on there. In no way is this video supposed to be disrespectful towards a flag or America. It's not about political anything, it's not about anything else. I'm literally taking something that is boring and doesn't get a lot of attention and it's just there in the background and I'm gonna make it cool and uh, like a, not a centerpiece, but still like a main thing of the trunk with the flag. So it's gonna become nothing into something. So don't get offended. This is no hate. It's literally just arts and crafts. So what we're gonna do is pop out all these rivets and take the cloth lining out. Don't forget the two up here. You always wanna keep these somewhere safe, so don't lose them. All right, and it should just come off. And there we have everything exposed. And I should change the brake like now, but that's too easy. <laughs> All right, for this we need spray adhesive. Doesn't really matter, just needs to be sticky. Super glue, doesn't matter which brand, just needs to be sticky. The flag, doesn't really matter what flag you want, just make sure it's a flag. Thing you're gonna be covering, and thumbtacks for a snack. I got this idea from Red Mustang Amanda, and uh, she's all the help I've gotten. So all she said was a three by five flag attached with spray adhesive and hot glue. Go wild, let's do this. I've never done this, so I'm just gonna start in the middle and work my way out. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is get some candy, put it on one side, and then just spray and press, and then we'll see. I'm still lost. Alright, let's uh, glue. This is what it looks like after I just sprayed here down. This is where all the pockets are. It's a little wrinkly, but it still takes to the uh, contour pretty well. So I'll repeat the process and I'll show you all the finished product because it's really boring to watch. So, all right, it is uh, not the same time as before, but it's done. From afar, it's great. It's a little bit uneven, sorry, but the contoured pretty well. There's a lot of wrinkling, a lot, a lot of wrinkling. And you done? Around the edges, it's really hard. Not my best work. And then on the back, I just did the spray adhesive. And uh, I had to cut the flag, unfortunately. Hang on. Old houses. I mean, spray adhesive works pretty well. It's pretty stiff now. I sprayed a lot on there. But, uh, yeah, so all we have left to do is cut out the circles. Super glue them down, super glue any other pockets like these. And right here, there's a big void. I don't know if I'll try to indent that or not. Probably not. There's also uh, you'll see. What you need, sharp things and some glue and a helper. So I got my friend Katie over here to help me. Here's a knife. And uh, we're just gonna go at it. You really want an exacto blade, but knives work. And uh, this is what it looks like. So from afar, what you're seeing, it probably looks really good, but it's not. Now, we're just gonna snap it back in, the, these things. Wherever you threw them, go find them. You probably lost one, that's great, but just push them in. And uh, don't forget these two up here. And boom, you're done. Like? Don't laugh. You go, so, go stand somewhere else. No, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Ready? 